So in today's Mombuzzle, we have upgraded our car, we have a new suspension, and we might have bought Nos to try to complete that drag race. That way we can hopefully unlock the race car here today. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. All right, today we are gonna head back out to the racetrack because we are gonna finally complete uh, the stupid drag race. So, if you recall from the last episode, we failed once again, and it was because the handling on this car is hot garbage. It spins the tires, it just doesn't turn very good, and you know what? I fixed it. At least I think I did. I've got like two more things I gotta do real quick, but we're gonna fix it. So, uh, last episode, we put the uh, turbo on, and it gave it extreme speeds, but yeah. It just was not good. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the little mechanical creeper here. And wow, we started really far out for this. Hold on. Wee, this is fun. So yeah, uh, I spent all my uh, maple syrup money uh, yesterday uh, with the van guy. And look, look at all the performance pieces. Ignore the rusty bolts. Uh, but yeah. Performance pieces, suspension, we can fully adjust and tune this thing. Yeah, check this out. Look, we can adjust the camber so we can click it. We can like tilt the tires out. Uh, we could probably tilt it out like massively. <laughs> I don't know if this actually helps, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, nope. Wait, why did it stop? Okay, did we go max camber there? I don't know. So yeah, we can do that. We can adjust the ride height uh, with the suspension in the back. I still need to get a new front suspension. I did put on the sport. Uh, suspension pieces you got the new race sway bar and stuff so the last thing I need to do there is a strut bar that I need to put on and supposedly that helps with the motor whenever you hit the gas really hard and it kind of twist everything so I'm hoping that's what that is that's what my comment section told me so yeah uh, we're gonna head over there I hope I have enough money for it uh, I only have $1,200 right now well you know what we do have I have some parsley that I could uh you know, go sell at the market and uh, make a little bit of extra money. Yep, this is totally parsley. Okay, I'm gonna gather some stuff. I got a couple things to do, then we'll head to town. So another thing you're gonna notice, uh, I have the nitrous installed. We actually bought this last episode. I don't have the tank in yet. Uh, we will put that in maybe for the drag run. I, I don't know if we're gonna need it. I'm hoping the handling's just gonna help us and make it to where we can get the right time. But you know what? It's there if we need it. I'm sure it's gonna make the car handle great and not like totally spin the tires sideways. But yeah, that's the thing I deal with. Like when I get to about second gear or even like third gear, I get a really bad like wheel spin and it shoots it sideways. Uh, so supposedly those strut bars might help a little bit with that. Yeah, right, we made a little bit of money with brother. I can go take this to a couple other spots. So here's the, uh, the NOS tank that we're gonna be installing here today. We'll chunk that in the back. Did I grab bolts? I don't know if I have bolts with me. Uh, actually, do we need bolts? I mean, we might be able to go ahead and install it. Okay, so do I just screw this in? So by the way, the NOS goes back here. Uh, oh, yeah, it just screws in. So yeah, uh, this mounts in the back. It took me forever to figure out the suspension. I was gonna do it on video, but I was like, this is just gonna take way too long. It took me forever to realize that there's like bolts up in here, and this is where like the rear shocks and stuff go. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing. So yeah, I must say the, the handling's better uh, with this new suspension. Uh, I don't know if it's perfect yet. I wanna see what the strut bars do, but I think we're definitely gonna have enough to get the, uh, the drag race time that we need. You know, we really weren't that far off. Also, I got some uh, hints from you guys or some tips as far as my launching. So I'm hoping everything combined here is gonna make this a successful run. Okay, sir, how much are your strut bars? Oh, these are, uh, wait, rear and front. Wait, what do you need a rear one for? Uh, do these actually go where I think they go? Uh, that's a good question. Also, I think I have some bolts out at the house or out at the, uh, the garage in the, uh, racetrack. We'll grab both of these. I, I could be completely wrong about where these go, but I feel like these might be important. Wait, what if I can't even put these on at all? You know what? It's fine. Now, there's a potential to strut bar. Does it mount? Uh, let's look at the front one. Does it mount like right across that? Or is it somewhere else? I'd be down towards the bottom. I have to look at how these actually go on. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna head out to the racetrack, do a couple more adjustments, and we're gonna see if we can get that time. So yeah, I just did a little speed test. So I still get a little pull in their gear. 
but it's not nearly as severe as it was. Like, I'm not shooting completely to the right or to the left. So I feel like maybe even just with this default setup, we might be able to get the time. Like, I almost want to just go straight there and try uh, instead of going to the garage and doing some adjustments and uh, doing other things. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's go, jeez. Nope, this is fine. <gasps> no, don't go into the ditch. Okay, that was a weird, a weird crash. No, 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 go this way. No, we're not going to get stuck, are we? Oh, we got this. Okay, my anxiety is going to be really high. So here's a good question. How does this actually work with the nitrous? Uh, so you got an off. Okay, uh, there's a power level. Like, what is two? We got to remember, if we use all this, we can't recharge it until Friday. Uh, is this going to be too much? Okay, here. Oh, that is the wall. It's fine. Okay, let's go up into here. All right, so we want to arm it. Uh, is that it? That's on and off? I'm assuming it's it's armed. And we're doing the nitrous stuff. I've never used this before. We'll have to see. Okay, let's see if we can just get the launch here. Okay. Oh, jeez. And... Oh, that was a good launch. Okay. There's the third gear. Oh, the third gear's really slow. Hold on, but it doesn't twist as bad. Wait, we did it. We got it. It's a 9-9 right there. Okay, turn off the nitrous. Holy man. You know, it didn't actually feel that much different as far as the power levels. Maybe it just hooked up the whole fact that we had the uh, the new suspension in there. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wow. Well, we did it. The objective is done. You know, we got to test that out. We still want to put these strut bars in. So here, let's go into the garage. You can see I have a total mess in here. This is where I was doing the suspension, which by the way, if you have the racetrack, do not work on your car at the house. Do yourself a favor and just do it here. The impact tool or the gun makes such a big difference in changing parts. Like it's incredible. So uh, real quick, hold on. Let's do it. And oh. Yep, nine, nine. Okay, wait, where's the parts? Here they are, and clunk! Turbo Gerber, oh no. Oh no, we did it. This is it, this is the race car. We're gonna take this around for just a minute, huh? Let's get our uh, little trunk out of the way. So yeah, let's take this thing out for a spin. We can customize it and stuff here in the future. I think we could probably paint it. I don't think you can actually work on it, uh, but yeah. Uh, this thing looks awesome. Okay, let's get in. Uh, do I need to buckle my seatbelts? Nope. Okay. So, there's a lot of switches in here. There's the ignition switch. What the heck? Okay, there's the parking brake. There's the hoist. There's the shifter. All right, let's fire it up real quick and just see what it sounds like. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, hold on. We might be out of fuel completely. There's no fuel in this at all? Uh, hold the gas down. Yep. Well, that was a whole bunch of nothing. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and get out of this. We will drive this today, uh, so stay tuned towards the end of the episode. Let's go and see if we can figure out how to put these strut bars on. Okay, strut bar. So one thing I do actually want to do with this in the future, I do want to go back to the welded differential just to do like a drift machine and we can like camber in the uh, the tires all the way and make it look ridiculous and lower it. Uh, but that'll be a future episode. I just want to tune it up to its like max uh, fast modified uh, speed. So I got to figure out where these go. Like I really know nothing about the strut bar. I was told kind of what they do, but I don't know if I was told where they actually go. If I just like slot this in, does it go somewhere? It looks like it mounts right there, uh, across the, uh, the top of that. But I don't think that's the way that works. I mean, I could be completely wrong. We're gonna do a test real quick, just to see if this is what I think it is. Uh, I think it goes across the engine, but I, like I said, I'm probably wrong. Oh, look at that, it does! Okay, wait, where does the rear one go? That's, uh, a good question. I'll have to look at the back. I guess it goes across the, uh, the same suspension components. Okay, and boom, all right, so front one is installed. All right, that looks so cool. Like, just thinking about, if you go back and watch my first episode, how bad this car looks, and look at it now, like, this is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do the rear real quick. 
Okay, rear strut bar, boom. All right, that is in. All right, so we should have like max handling now. All right, let's put those back on. There we go. Okay, and close. Nice. All right, so that is installed. You know, we're eventually gonna have to like probably uh, take the truck over here and gather the parts. Uh, either that or we might leave them here. So I read in like some of the future updates, which by the way, you can get a lot of the previews from the Discord. I saw that maybe they were gonna make a place to sleep here. So maybe you would just store all, all your parts here. That might be a thing. Okay, here we go. You know, there's also something very appealing about having the home garage and maybe if we can get the air compressor and stuff in there. Uh, all right, crank this up. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we are in gear. This is fine. Okay, let's go and reverse it. I just want to test it real quick, see if it feels any different. Uh, we'll take it for a lap around the oval here. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna just try speed run. Let's just go ahead and go power mode three, arm that, give it a second. Uh, all right, are we ready to go? Do I need to twist the bottle or anything or is it actually pumping out the power? Hold on, real quick, I just wanna make sure. Oh, we see like in the movies and stuff, they twist the knob on the top. It's not a thing, right? It's actually showing, oh, it's showing 100, okay. You know, now that I think about it, was it even like doing anything or is it actually on now? I, there's a chance I was using it wrong. Hold on, let's just give this a little run. Okay, gas it up, okay. Uh, see what kind of speed we get here? Oh, it's twisting a little bit. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, we probably need to use fourth gear here. Uh, wait. Oh, it's still a little tight. All right, gas it back up and shift up to fourth. Okay, brakes, brakes, uh, downshift. You know, one thing I'd like to see is an upgrade to the brakes here. I still don't feel like these brakes are all that good. You know, it could be my rears. I think my rears are still a little rusty. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, that might be an upgrade in the future. And this feels good. Uh, I don't know if we're actually using the nitrous. Hold on, let's switch it to arm. Uh, three, arm, I'm gonna crash. Oh, yep, see? Uh, yeah, there's a chance this is all getting used wrong, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh I was letting the wheel spin there. Oh, okay, what the heck? Uh, maybe it's arm now? It feels a little more unpredictable. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, it's got a lot of pickup now. Okay, brakes, 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 downshift. Oh, I thought we were gonna hit that. All right, gas it back up. Uh, it gets a little sideways. Man, this is a fun car to drive now. This is like totally different than it is stock. It's great. Okay, here we go, gas it back up. Yeah, buddy. All right, oh, that was a downshift too far there. All right, you know what? I've had my fun with it. So we need to head back to town. Actually, we need to head home because that's where our gas tank is. And yeah, we need to get it because we have to drive the race car today. I'm kind of curious as to uh, what kind of grip it has. Somebody says it goes 240, which I'm like, where in the game can you go 240? Unless this acceleration is just instant. I'm curious about that though. All right, well, let's head back. We've got a basically a fully modified car. I'm super happy with it, but you know what? If you guys have any suggestions for future builds, comment down below, let me know. But let's head to the house and let's go get our fuel tank. Also, by the way, always be responsible, pay your bills. There we go. Boom. There goes 200 bucks. That was for the energy bill. Uh, I haven't paid that in a while. All right, here we go. So we can head back to the house. Hey folks, guess what? You know, I just paid that bill. Uh, I, apparently I didn't pay it fast enough because I don't have electricity right now. <laughs> Pay your bills, folks. It's definitely a bad thing to not do that. This is fine. All right, let's fill this tank up. We are ready to go. I'm excited for this race car. Uh, I heard it's an absolute beast. Uh, they said it's not, or somebody said it wasn't as fast as the buggy, but I'm like, does the buggy go 240? I mean, of course, that 240 could be a, a wrong number. I right, put that back into there. All right, here we go. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we go, fueling it up. I don't know how much this thing holds. I'm sure it drinks gas. <laughs> uh, oh boy, how big is the tank in this thing? Oh, look at that, we're almost full. So wait, how much does this hold? Is it a full bucket or a full uh, gas can? It's a full gas can, so it's 20 liters. I think it's what this, uh, this car holds. It looked like it was about full there. So here we go, pop this open. All right, it should fire up now. I'm excited. All right, let's go. 
Whoa. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, okay. Um, parking brake off. So we're in neutral. How many gears does it have? So it's five speed. Okay, let's go ahead. Ease it out here. Parking brake's completely off. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, you hear that whistle? Dude, that sounds good. Okay, let's gas it up. You know the speed? Okay, it takes off pretty good. Okay, gas it up. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's got so much grip. Uh, it's definitely grippier than the, uh, the other car. Like, it handles this like a champion. Okay, on. Oh, jeez. Okay, brakes, brakes. What do you say we take it outside the track? Like, I feel like... Oh, it just died on us. Oh, is it good? Okay, I thought it died completely there. Uh, let's take it outside the track. There's some really big roads that we can... Or long roads, I should say, that we can take this on. Because, yeah, there isn't a place on this racetrack where we can truly get wide open. Okay, here we go. Race car time. Downshift. All right, let's see what kind of speed we have. It's amazing how much traction it has when you uh, lay on the gas. Like, it's really good. You know, it's not as fast as I thought it was going to be, though. Like, I felt like this was going to be faster. All right. Oh, how, what kind of grip we... Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yep. What the... Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, this thing is, like, aerodynamic. That was the longest crash I've ever been a part of. Yeah, it's got good grip at high speeds. It's definitely grippier than the other car, but as far as the speed... Like, can we upgrade this? Like, I feel like we should make it faster. Uh, that would be a thing. But yeah, I'm kind of curious how uh, they're going to incorporate this in future updates, this car. Because I think there's going to be uh, future different types of races. Also, I heard there's going to be maybe demo derbies. Uh, that was listed. So I'm assuming that's what the pink race car would be used for. But yeah, this is good. I mean, it's got grip. Maybe there'll be like a rally or a time trial. Uh, kind of like in My Summer Car around the island. Like, I feel like this area would be really good for that. So, well, maybe we'll see that in the future. Uh, but, yeah, uh, really happy to have this unlocked. We'll see if we can paint it and stuff in the, uh, the next episode. But thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And you know what? We did it. We got ourselves a true race car. And, oh, boy, is it fast. Hold on. Is that our max speed? I don't feel like we're going 240. But we are going to hit this. Whee! Oh! Oh! Well, look at us. Is this even a thing we should be doing? Ouch. Okay. Yep. We're still crashing. We're going to die from anxiety here. Uh, this is fine. Still flipping. Okay. I think we're finally done. Hey, we almost made it home.